So let's take a little bit weight off and I'm, we're going to play with your starting position. So let's take the 10s off and then we're going to go from there. So set up for me real quick. So one of the things, so set up, set up. Like hands on the bar, everything, okay? So when you start right here, the weight's like really back here, mm -hmm. right? So I want, I want you to stand up, don't move the bar, and I want you to, we're gonna play with your starting stance. So instead of standing like this, I, wanna pull you, I want you to pull your feet out a little bit like that. Can you do that? Just like this. Like that. Now set up, it's even more. Even more. And if you want, you can bring your heels a little bit together, but we can try here first. So put your hands on the bar and set up, and just feel how that feels in your feet. Don't bring the bar back, you gotta start over. Start over. So set up again, the way you normally set up. Uh -huh. Don't move your feet. The bar already moved, dude. It's already gone. Oh, sorry. So stand. So set up, set up, like how you normally set up in relation to the bar. Is this where you normally are? Yep. And then pull your toes out like we did a second ago. Now put your hands on the bar, but don't roll the bar. And then put the shins to the bar and you're gonna look straight ahead. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the weight a little bit more here on the outside to stabilize you as you pull the bar as opposed to your foot being straight and it pulling this way. Okay. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So why don't we try this? Go ahead and stand. You're going to try this and you're just going to pull. Okay. We're just going to do a snatch high pull. Okay. But with your feet out and feeling it, it's, it's, called, a, it's called a duck. Okay. It's a duck stance. So let's give that a shot. You're just going to snatch high pull it. Does that feel more stable? Yeah. Feels way more stable, right? Do that one more time, and then we're gonna take it next level. Okay, good. So let's try this even a little bit more. So what that does is it helps stabilize the weight on your foot, but it also brings your hips way closer to the bar. So let's try it even a little bit more. Why don't you, we're just playing. We can always go back, right? Try to bring your feet out even a little bit more. And then if we need to, we'll go back. We'll see how you like it. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. go ahead and set up. So exaggerate a little more in here. Yeah, but don't stand like super close yeah. to the bar like that. Just exaggerate it. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Let's try that. You're just going to pull it. Isn't that awesome? It's so close, yeah. right? So we're gonna take it another step further. So we're gonna have you do this. So move that bar back. So you were correct. You missed that lift because you didn't, have, you didn't have enough finish on the bar. But the reason you don't have enough finish isn't just because you're not extending. So what's happening is when you're right here, you do a really good job of keeping it close. And the change in your stance will probably help. But the second you're here, can you give me PPC? The second you're here, right? You're just like a hair off the bar, right? So, so being just a hair off, stand right there at the end of that barbell and look. So just being a hair off, what that ends up doing is the butt has to come up here. So by the time you extend, you don't get to this position to be able to fully extend. You have to extend a little early. And then it goes out and then you get under it. It's just a hair, but when you're working big weights, that's what happens, right? So you're gonna pick this bar up. You know what we're gonna do right now. And get in your new stance, super wide, and bring it to the bottom, starting position. You're gonna look straight ahead, and go ahead and snatch deadlift that, keeping it tight. That's right, do it again. That's tight, pull it. Good job, let's do one more. On my five count, ready? One, two, three, four, five. You feel that? Yeah. All right, let's try it. With the actual bar. So let's do another snatch pull here, John, and then we're gonna do the full snatch with the new stance, okay? Do you want to chalk up? Okay. It's 
so much closer, right, between working the lats and then changing the stance. So it's 10.59. Let's give it about a minute, and then we'll try the full lift. Okay. Do you want to get some water real quick? You good. So with a different stance, just think about keeping it tight, right? Staying upright, and then after that, because it's a big lift, that huge explosion, okay. it's usually not an issue for you, as opposed to keeping it tight. Just keep it tight. You don't do a good enough job keeping it tight, buddy. Right off the floor, you're great, right? So right off the floor to here, you do a great job, but from here, there's just like hair, yeah. right? And so from here, you gotta really, really engage. So put that hand out. Go to above the knee. Push back. Push back more. Slowly stand. That whole way, right? So if that yeah. bar's not against you, it's not tight enough, right? So you, you can feel the bar. You know it's not against you. So push, push more. Pretend a camera isn't in your face. <laughs> and that everyone in the room isn't just watching you lift. <laughs> You're doing good, buddy. Just, just stare at your spot and execute the lift. Go, keep it tight. Come on. All day long. All day long. Nice. Wanna try a little bit more? Yeah. All right, go. Yeah, do fives. So all of a sudden you keep it tight, that extension is more than enough. Yeah. You see what I mean? There's no such thing as too tight. Take a little bit longer. Watch it blink 30 times, you can count. What are you gonna do? That's right. Where are you going to keep it tight? Last. Where? But we're on the left. Here. Thank you. Okay. Let's get it big. Keep it tight. Really tight. Come on. Let's go. You didn't even move your feet and you got that. What's up? <laughs> go a little bit more. Go a little bit more and do a bigger explosion okay. now, and now you gotta move your feet, okay? Okay. All right. My feet are so wide, I feel like I have to move them. This is not about, so you, you, you don't have to necessarily move them out, but you gotta move them, right? So the feet have to come off the floor and you gotta back, go back down because it's speed and stability, okay. right? And, it, and it's a little bit more explosion. So you're doing a great job keeping them on the floor as much as possible, but it's the speed of getting under the bar, okay? okay? So count another 30 before you go. Let's go keep it tight. Move those feet, come on. All day long, let's get it. All day long, woo! And 
pretty too. Did it feel good? Yeah. Do so you want to do a little bit more? Yeah. What do we have on the bar right now? 205. 205, so this is 215? Yeah. To get it. 11.04, we'll go at 11.05. Keeping it tight is like chalk. It's no such thing as in, like too much, right? <laughs> 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 Keep it tight, big extension, okay? Big jump. You got it, let's go. Just a little bit loose, right? And then just a little bit not ex enough extension at the end. So what you need to think about the extension at the end, on top of the little bit loose, is it's gotta be massive, right? So the massive extension is on not only this, it's this followed by the shrug and that pull, because you miss that by like that much, right? So if you kept pulling on it up here, the shrug and the pull, that'll give you that little bit more to get on the bar. So not only is it this extension, it's this. So don't forget this, before you get under. So you gotta keep it tighter, and you gotta give me a bigger pull. Okay. okay? Count 45. Moving big weights, gotta get it all right. <laughs> <laughs> Counting? How many left? All right. Keep it tight, big pull. Let's go. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we'll end it there. Good job. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button and subscribe below. For more information on Olympic lifting, merchandise, or improving your lifts, check out woolift.com. Link is in the description below. Thanks guys.